Hey, did you know you can make a simple animated texting conversation inside your PowerPoint? This can be a great way to grab the audience's attention. So here it is. Let me show you how to play. As you can notice, each message is delayed a few seconds, like in the real conversation on the chat. So audience just read one after another and kind of absorb the whole slide really quickly. How you can do that? It's rather simple. What we need is a shape. So let's head to Insert and then Shapes. I recommend to use the rectangle with the rounded corners and you can bump up this roundness. Move this yellow rectangle all the way in to bump up, make it really round. All right, so on the left side, you need a gray color without any outline. And then on the right side, you will need uh, another color for the second person talking to you. So some people use blue like on Facebook and some people like to use some kind of green like in some kind of web apps. All right, so we put it all together nicely and then we got a space for conversation. To type something in, you simply double tap on it. OK, so here it is one, two, three, X, Y, Z. It should be in the black color on the gray slide. So let's change that quickly. A bit larger and the dark color will do. And on this one on the right side here, one, two, three, X, Y, Z, that should be a white color. We can make it even a bit bolder like that. And the key to this is animation. So we can put animation on this guy. Let's head to animation tab. And this will be the very first one. So we will search for animation. I like to use uh, rise up animation for it. So it's going like from the bottom to the top or something similar like float in. Anything that kind of moving the bubble from the bottom to the top will do. OK, so float in, but way faster. So let's reduce the duration to half second. All right. So that's the first one. So it's starting on the click when I click. The second one, the answer will start automatically. So again, let's use float in animation. This time the answer coming from the top. So I change the direction to go from the top to down faster so only half second for it not on click after previous with delay two second delay so someone is answering us right and now i can duplicate the gray one command c command v here and i need to change the style of the animation for the second gray one to be after previous this time i want to play it out after previous Delay two seconds, perfect. And now we can duplicate the green one. And this time we don't need to change any settings. Everything is set up and you can carry this on. You can duplicate this one again, move it above. All right, let's play it all and check it out. So every two seconds we got the next message. So we got this conversation, this dialogue happening, and it's really captivating for audience. It's way better than just boring slide with a lot of text. All right, I hope it was helpful. And by the way, I think I will just save my document and share the link in the description in case you are in rush. You don't have time to create all of that from scratch. You can follow the link to download this template as well. Thank you for today. You can check out the next tutorial here.